Hey you, I got a couple questions for you today. Assuming that you get up between 6 and 8 a.m., can you actually go back to sleep around 10 or 11? And can you function optimally without caffeine before noon? If you said yes and no to these questions, listen. Likely you're not getting enough sleep or the quality of your sleep is poor or inadequate or both. So I want you to listen up over here to this video because I got a few secrets to share and a few things for you to do that can help you improve the quality of your sleep and your health. This is Maria Horseman, your holistic health and wellness and fitness coach at BFabBU.com, serving you in person in Atlanta or online worldwide. And I'm here to share a few energy recharge tips with you. And this week, we are talking about your sleep, caffeine, and a beautiful neurotransmitter called adenosine, or adenosine. So, first of all, uh, did you know that between March 3rd and 10th has been, or is, the week, the sleep awareness week? Yes, very important. So why is sleep always on the conversation? Because look, it is fundamental for our health. It is one of the things that is gonna help us or actually prevent us from actually losing weight, from managing irritability, cravings, it's easy to dysregulate our hormones, with poor sleep, have um, inadequate you know, immune system, so allow us to get sick more often, and so many other things. So sleep is fundamental for health. And sometimes, you know, we just don't feel like it. How many times I have clients that, you know, I ask normally, I says, how are you doing? I'm tired, I'm tired. You know, seems like everybody's tired and everybody don't have enough, everybody doesn't have enough time in a day. Well, let me tell you this, one third of your day, I want you to dedicate to your sleep as much as possible. You need to make a commitment to this. You know, the number of sleep hours that we need is impacted by our age and how much sleep we've been getting, obviously. You know, but caffeine, which is one of the key items that I want to talk to you about today, it is so fundamental to um, the quality of sleep that we get. Why? Because caffeine blocks or kind of masks this neurotransmitter called adenosine. Adenosine is basically our sleep pressure hormone and accumulates during the day, you know, until we get to the night and we want to fall asleep. So that is this neurotransmitter basically saying hello, 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 and crash, right? So uh, caffeine actually blocks, you know, this adenosine, but the adenosine does not stop accumulating in the body. And as we continue to add caffeine to our daily uh, you know, drinks or foods or medications, you know, that we take, you know, the adenosine doesn't stop until we have a caffeine crash. And I don't know if you have had ever that or didn't even know that it's coming, that it's called a caffeine crash, but I have had that and I didn't know there was a caffeine crash. But now, you know, I fully understand what's going on over here and I'm bringing you to this attention. And another thing that I want you to actually be aware of it is the, that caffeine has what is called a half-life of five to seven hours. What does that mean? It means that it takes about five to seven hours for the body to get rid of half of this stimulant because that's what caffeine is, is a stimulant. Right? And again, remember that caffeine does not only come from coffee, it's in several other foods and beverages, from energy drinks to, um, to sodas. Uh, it's also in medications and several foods, including chocolate, which we all love as well, right? So anyway, so what does that mean? Let's assume, just to keep the math simple, 
okay, that is three o'clock and you're having that energy slump because again, you're sleep deprived, maybe you're so tired that you kind of pile up on some caffeine and actually some, some chocolate, right? That sweet tooth that you got that craving and you know that sugar is gonna lift you up and you have that caffeine. Well, right there, two cups or let's say 16 ounces of caffeine, of coffee, it corresponds to roughly about 200 milligrams of caffeine plus let's say another you know a hundred from you know the chocolate or any other foods let's make the math simple and say 300 by 3 p.m well it's gonna take about five to seven hours for the body to get rid of half of it so it's 10 p.m right and you still may have about 150 milligrams of caffeine in your system and what's gonna happen to your sleep does that make any sense why you're potentially not getting, um, you know, falling asleep quickly or might not getting a good quality of sleep? Why also is this important? Because caffeine impacts the REM sleep and that is the part of our sleep that is really putting the pieces together. You know, first part of our sleep is actually, you know, <clears throat> to kind of clear things out. You know, from the system, what is good is not good. And then the REM sleep, and especially in the second part of our sleep night, is really to kind of put together, integrate, is an integrator. And that's when we have that good, better memory and so on. So anyway, this is the importance of caffeine and this neurotransmitter adenosine that I wanted to share with you today. Now, what is the to do for you? So a couple things. One is I want you to kind of start tracking and uh, uh, tracking the amount of caffeine that you're drinking, right? Because one cup, which corresponds to about 100 milligrams, is eight ounces of caffeine. So start measuring to see how many milligrams are you having and how many you know, cups are you having throughout the day. And you start measuring your quality of your sleep when you have caffeine and when you don't have caffeine, or when you have only in the morning, or when you have morning and afternoon, right? Because this adenosine continues to actually grow and accumulate throughout the day, right? And you might have this caffeine crash at some point, but you know what? It might actually take quite a bit of time for you to recover. Because the liver, that cons the, the enzyme in the liver that uh, is getting rid of this uh, caffeine in the system has to work really hard and by the time that they actually get rid of everything you're actually crashing okay and you will be crashing if it has been a while that you haven't cleansed you know from caffeine that's why a lot of people when they go through these cleanses or detox and they remove caffeine they crash is because finally the liver got rid of the caffeine and now the adenosine is catching up but it's saying you need to sleep so task number one is to start tracking the amount of caffeine and start tracking how you feel with caffeine and the times and so on right two is i'm begging you please start making plans to get eight hours of sleep and also track your productivity your focus your irritability and so on and don't just say yes i know i feel better Trust me, it's not only about I feel better, you're impacting your high, your health and your energy in deeper levels, more than you can think of at this point. So please make a commitment to start improving the time that you're going to bed, the number of hours that you're actually getting, but also what is potentially influencing you to get this quality of sleep. If you have any questions, don't hesitate me. Don't hesitate to reach uh, to me um, via bfabbu.com or you can always call me at 770-835-5490. Uh, Until then, have a beautiful week and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.